Our top story tonight, a Tulsa woman is speaking out after the man who stabbed and killed her husband was arrested for stabbing two other people last week. I sat down with that Tulsa mom to get her reaction and dug into the suspect's criminal history. A day at the park was filled with fun and giggles for Lachey Evans and her three precious little girls. But Evans told me despite the joy, they're always missing their dad, T'Challa Davis. He was a great father, you know, he was a loving person. He will do anything for anybody. He was stabbed inside this Taco Bell near 51st and Yale in October 2019. Davis later died in the hospital and police say Christian Cook was responsible for his death. He's very dangerous to society, I believe. Nearly four years later, and after being acquitted in Davis's death, saying it was self-defense, Cook is now facing new charges for another stabbing. I try, like, to, you know, forgive the situation, but it's kind of hard. We just keep seeing the person just on TV and social media just committing violent acts. About 1,000 feet away from the Taco Bell, Tulsa police say Cook was inside Bleacher Bum Sports Bar Thursday night. Witnesses told police he was looking for a fight and ended up stabbing one person in the back and cutting another across the face. Because he's Choctaw, the FBI took over the investigation. But for Evans, she believes he shouldn't be on the streets. It's just like jaw dropping. I can't believe he's like still out committing violent crimes is just insane to me. I dug through court records and found in 2019, before the fatal stabbing, Cook got a deferred sentence for threatening an act of violence against an EMT. Evan says as she raises her daughters alone, she doesn't want him to hurt anyone else. It makes me angry and a little bit and upset because my kids is growing up without their father. I did check with the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Northern District of Oklahoma to see what charges Cook could face for this stabbing. I am still waiting to hear back.